he's got to remember where he parked. That's not, there's nothing worse than losing where you're at after a trip. That's going to be fun for you, by the way. Yeah, I get to take a bus. You hear that? This road's muddy. Very muddy. I hope I don't get stuck. I'm walking from here. All right, well, good morning, everyone. It's Ben, I'm in the shop. I've just gotta say, it's been, it's been a couple of weeks. It's been getting everything ready. You know, you prepare and you plan and you think you're ahead, but man, it's been crazy. So I'm finally feeling like I can breathe a little bit. I've got a couple of new guys started. I've got trucks done. I've got iPads that I had to provision and get ready. We've got sales guys here. We've got, man, it's a mess, but it's a good mess. So today I'm just going to finalize this week. It's Friday. So I'm going to try and get some stuff done and make a new list of stuff that I got to work on next. And maybe we'll have a little bit of fun today. I did something. You guys will look up here. There's something missing off of the shelf. I had some guys help me get it down. Guess what? Maybe this weekend I'll work on this. It'd be nice to get that running. So I'm going to move some stuff around, but just wanted to uh, let you guys know why we haven't cranked out amounts of videos or fun things because we've just been buried. Ryan and I have been buried. It's that time of year. We're, we're busy. So next week we should calm down a little bit and hopefully things will go a little bit smoother and we can get some stuff done and get some stuff out for you guys. I got some plans. So a little update on trucks. We are uh, still hiring, obviously. I've got these three trucks I can put people in, one more on that side. And I've got to get Smurfette out, run it, and get the plow off of the four-wheeler, get it put away. I'm going to put a truck over here. I'm going to take that truck out, put it over here. And uh, the one that I pulled out for the sales guys is coming back. i got to go pick it up. They left it at the airport. That was more convenient than me getting up at 3.30 this morning. So I got a lot to do today, but I'm going to start by moving some stuff around and making some room. Uh, Mike is out today on termites. The trailer's gone. That's always good. So he's doing, I think, a bait station job and a liquid barrier treatment. So leaves me a little room to sweep, clean up. I'm going to get this one stuck over there, make some room on this side get the four-wheeler plow over here just clean up a little bit so sorry you're stuck with me cleaning Okay, well, I got some cleaning done. I had to move some trucks around, get some stuff set up, so I'll be ready for next week. And also, I gotta go pick up that truck at the airport. So I need a good spot for it. Spot's made, things are ready. Ryan is gonna be on his way here within the hour. He's gonna take me up to the airport and I'll bring the truck back. He's leaving for the weekend. He's got a wedding back in Nevada to go to. So he's gonna be gone to that. Then, when he gets back, it's time to get serious. So we're gonna hopefully start our river run prep. We haven't done it yet because, well, to be honest, we've been waiting to sell the, the Nissan and then that will fund getting some skis. And we're still in limbo on that. So I'll update you guys when I know something, but for now it's, it's still in Omaha. It's still waiting repair. Okay, so 
back to river stuff. We've scouted the Platte River a little bit. We are still looking at doing some other rivers, which we'll announce, but we need to, uh, we need to scout them. So truck ride up today, I'm gonna try and corner Ryan about setting aside some time so we can go scout these rivers. I think these little rivers, we're gonna have to put the kayaks in to see just if they're passable or not. Otherwise, we won't know. I found out yesterday that there's a lock on the Osage River that I didn't know about. It's not functioning, so it's like a waterfall. That's not gonna be passable, I don't think. But we have to go look at it. We have to see what, what the options are. I guess we can pull out at the ramp before and then put them in after, but it seems like a lot of work. We've got some investigating to do. I've got to corner Ryan and we've got to plan some time to go do that. So that's coming up. The other thing that happened is uh, I was contacted by uh, one of the admins on a group here in Missouri called uh, Jet Rider Nation. I guess they heard of our antics last year on the uh, river run and thought that we should uh, invite some of their members to come and ride with us this year which we're inviting everybody. If you have or have access to a Wave Runner and you want to come and ride with us, just let us know. We're probably going to have, I don't know, a ride a month. We'll do one day, we'll go do a ride. And uh, so we're going back. We're going to check the sites. We're going to see the cool stuff along the way. There may be a submarine in our future. There will definitely be some cool stuff like the hydrofoil boat. We missed that. I mean, we saw it, but we didn't see it, you know? And this year we're gonna bat some fish. I said bat fish, yes, that's legal here-ish. Asian carp, yes, you can bat them. Um, so we're gonna do that. So if you want to join us, you can, actually you can check out Jet Rider Nation Missouri on Facebook. You can look at their page and see what's coming up. And uh, also, you know, keep posted on us because we'll, we'll be announcing dates hopefully soon. We're gonna try and give you guys as much heads up. The first one we may not have more than just a week or two, probably two weeks. So just be ready, get your skis ready and meet us there. So also on the same note, I reached out to a guy from Omaha. His name's Mike. He, uh, he's a lot crazier than we are. He bought a new jet ski, a Sea-Doo, and he rode from Omaha all the way to the Mississippi and then did the Great Loop. You guys should look that up. The Great Loop is basically a ride that most people do on a big boat, like a cabin cruiser, and they take months to do. This guy did it on a jet ski, almost 7,000 miles, like 6,900, 6,800 miles on a jet ski. That's insane. So I wanna ride with him. We told him we were gonna to try to plan a ride in Omaha on the river. And he said, that sounds like fun. So I'm gonna get him in. We're gonna do this. And we'll catch some of his story because that's amazing that he did that all by himself. Crazy, no fuel trucks, no nothing. I can't even fathom. Anyway, so we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about the other rides um, next week, Ryan and I have got to get out and look at one of these rivers, make sure it's passable. So that's on the agenda. That's the update on the river stuff. And, uh, we want you guys to go. So if you haven't and you want to go and you just don't know when or what, or need some questions answered, email me. My email's right here. I'm going to bat it. So that's how, uh, that's how this summer's looking so far. There's still some stuff in the works that we've got to we've got to spill the beans on but you know besides work and besides river there's going to be a lot of play so stick around for that i am going to go find ryan and we're going to get to the airport we're about to uh cross the muddy missouri we're going to have a moment of silence reminisce for all the skis that died last year yeah I hope the water level's coming up. I know the little rivers have been coming up a little bit. Oh, it's up. It's up. Oh, it's up. 
Yeah. Oh, it's up big time. Those jetties are underwater finally. Yeah. It's up big time. So I saw a video of a guy um, from Omaha that did... Anyway, long story short, he, he rode 7,000 miles on his jet ski in 2022. Holy cow. I'll Anyways. Bet he, I'll bet he sold it at the end of the year. No, he still has it. Serious? Yeah. Oh. His first one where he was doing tests, he came down here and he hit one of those jetties that was submerged. He got it on video where him and his son are riding and wham, sunk that thing. Oh, he did? Well, he pulled it to the side, they got it out, but later they, they found out it was catastrophic failure. So, anyway, be careful out there, people. There's rocks and stuff. So we're, we're headed to the airport, because Ryan's leaving. Again. Again. And I gotta go pick up a truck, which I'm not entirely sure where it's at. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. But we'll hopefully find it, and hopefully I brought the right key, I don't know. Two mysteries in life that I'm about to solve today. Yeah. So Ryan's headed to a wedding. And literally, I feel like I was just out there. And you I, were. I, today's Friday. I got back Monday. So yeah, he was just out there. He was just out there. So he's going back. I'm going to stay and hold the fort and see if I can find some trouble here. Ben's been talking to some people, though, and we're uh, we're gearing up for some those small river runs. Yeah, we're going to have to get the kayaks out and scout them. See, Ben's, for sure. Ben's a little bit more of one of those preparatory guys. No, I don't. I'm like, let's just who's go. he gonna get mad at if we get somewhere and we can't finish? I'm not gonna get mad at anybody. I'll be like, oh, that, that, that was sucked. an adventure. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, Ben's finding out there's some locks in some of the rivers. There's some blockages, different things. So we're gonna find out if we can actually do these. Plus, but, plus we'll get like our our tan. Our, You're well, already tan. Our tan, but our our paddle arms. Oh. You're I'm, getting the workout. I'm, I'm getting the tan. I'm not much of a, a kayaker, but you know, since he's a kayaker, since <laughs> we're gonna since we're gonna follow the the race this year, we probably ought to do some practicing. That's true. Right My on. practicing will be sitting over here eating snacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, off to the airport. We'll see what kind of trouble we can avoid today. We're avoiding trouble. Oh, I Ryan's know. finding it, but we're avoiding it love trouble he's got to remember where he parked that's not there's nothing worse than losing <laughs> where you're at after a trip yeah or trying to find a truck that you didn't park that you don't have proper information for <laughs> that's gonna be fun for you by the way yeah i get to take a bus and i get to go for a ride and try to find it is it the red bus or the blue bus uh it's the same now isn't it crap i think it is the same yeah I don't know. They've screwed up Kansas City for us. They're going to us learn new tricks. They're going to ask me what's stop, and I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you when I get there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put on the screen what he sent me. <laughs> so the way this works is you obviously have rows that you can park in, and then there's these bus stops that are numbered. All he did was he sent me this picture. And I'm like, okay, great, row five. What does that mean? So I had to ask the bus driver, he helped me out. He's like, I think it's over here. And I'm like, okay. So I brought what I thought is a spare key. And hopefully as I'm walking over here, I can find it. The problem is unless I set off the alarm, I'm not gonna hear it. Cause it's just a Toyota beep. Oh, I do hear it. Oh. Okay, I found it. Yeah. So he left me the ticket and he left me the key. That's not very secure, by the way. Oh well, I have the truck, I'm in it. I brought the right key so I can head back. If you've never been to the Kansas City Airport, they have uh, remote parking. Well, economy parking. So they come out in these huge lots, but you got to take a bus. And then all the lots kind of converge into one entrance and exit after you go through about 20 traffic circles. Here's one of the traffic circles. It's got a cool something. I 
guess that's art. I don't know. I must not be very cultured. So I came down here to the Little Blue River. Ryan's not here because he went to the airport, but uh, I figured on my way back, it's kind of on the way. I noticed that the Missouri was up. So let's take a look at this one and see if it's up. Ooh, it's rocky. I still think that one's sketchy. If it's up, it's not up much. We're gonna go to the spot that we looked at a couple months ago. Get a good comparison that way. But man, that's sketchy. I don't think we were coming in this far. I don't think we ever could have. Wow, this is a pretty spot. Just a beautiful field, calm, babbling brook in the background. Okay, so here's the spot where we saw from the road, the falls. It's not doable, Ryan. There's no way. Man, not even, not even over on the edge. There's no way. All right, I'm driving over to where we were before. Just, okay. That's the spot we saw. That's the edge of the rapids. So over here is where we looked at before. That's where we'd have to stop. That's as far as we're gonna get. You hear that? This road's muddy, very muddy. I hope I don't get stuck. I'm walking from here. So somebody reached out and said that uh, since the last time we were down here, they pulled some cars out of here and it looks like they did. They're gone. So it was like trucks and frames and crap over there. Those are gone, they cleaned that up. That's great. Okay, coming up on the bridge. That's where I was up in the truck. And right down here is where we came and saw. Let's see if it looks any different. Well, when you get down here, it is up a little bit. This is what it looks like. So we stood right down there last time. This has grown up with a lot of green. That might be a problem, but uh, it's definitely higher than it was because there was stuff sticking up there. So after a rain, this thing is doable, but we can only get two there. We're not making it up those rapids, Ryan. So we got quite a bit of rain yesterday. I'm gonna pay the price today because I've got the sales truck up there that I brought back from the airport. I just drove down this muddy road. So the Missouri River Valley, this area, it's very fertile, very good ground, but as soon as you get it wet, it becomes very soft, very muddy. So, I've got tires caked. I'm gonna pay the price. I guess I'm gonna go to the car wash. Oh, holy crap. I came down to the ramp here at Fort Osage and it's up. Well, maybe it's not up as high as I thought, but it's up. This is about as high as it was when we rode last June. So, here I'll show you. So that's like normal height, because that edge is where we were kind of standing. Just along there. So it's up a couple of feet. And it looks like it's scooting. Man, there is debris everywhere.
man, the river calls. I can't get enough. I bet it's still cold though. It's, uh, it's actually not as cold as I thought. It ain't too bad. I could actually get in that. There's some stuff floating over there. So we plan to be at this ramp at least twice. Because we'll come through our Kansas City run is going to end here. And then the Missouri River 340. And this will be one of the places we stop, one of the checkpoints. I have got to look at this guy's little trailer. Almost looks like he's. It's a jet ski trailer, but maybe he just has a little John boat for it. It's got to be because he's got. He's got the bunks turned flat for like a John boat. Too cool. Anyway, we plan to be back here. It's going to be awesome. I'm getting excited. Actually, since the water's warmer, that really makes it sink in. We got to get going. Where's Ryan? We got to get going. We got to start getting serious, getting some skis lined up. So, that's today. I'm sorry, it's a Friday, I'm all over the place, but you know what? We're getting as excited about this summer, we're getting ready for stuff to happen. Uh, there's a couple more things that are going to trip us up a little bit, time-wise, and take our time away, but we'll get over those. The rest of the sales team will show up and we'll have to give them some attention, but man, after that, after they get going, it's all about getting these runs in, having some fun. So we're getting excited. Hopefully you guys are getting excited. If you have a ski or you want to get a ski and you want to join us uh, sometime this summer, like I said, we're going to plan some probably about every month. We will probably do a midweek day, maybe like pick a Wednesday of the month and we'll go do a run. And they're going to be fun. Some will be a little sketchy. Little Blue River might be sketchy, but It'll be fun. If you guys want to come with us, shoot me an email. We'll get uh, we'll get this thing going. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.